Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Mezon African Motives, uh, still working on engineering science entry, uh, working on revisions on forces. So in this case, we've got uh, a question that we are going to focus on, on forces from the question paper of November uh, 2015, uh, which is uh, important for our revisions as we are preparing ourselves for the exams, which are ahead of time. So we have got uh, the first part of our question, which is uh, 3.1, where we were given to give the definition of a resultant of forces. Take note, a resultant of forces. What is the definition? So as we know that the uh, resultant of forces is taken as uh, the resultant of forces of two or more forces is that single force that can replace the two or more forces and still have the same effect. So that is uh, what is uh, uh, represented as uh, the resultant of forces in this case. Then 3.2, we are given to calculate the magnitude and di direction of the resultant in Fig 3 uh, below. All right, so this is our diagram that we are given and we are asked here to calculate the resultant. So what, what can we do in this case? Uh, if we are to check from our diagram, we have got uh, these forces which are being taken out of the point. Like I always say that the forces should be taken away from the point of intersection, like 300 is fine. So this is in the right direction, in the right direction, in the right direction. But if you check 250 Newton is pointing in. So what you simply do is that you simply extend that force out like this. All right, so meaning to say, Instead of having our 200 Newton this side, we are going to have it on the other side, uh, pointing away from uh, the point of industry, which is uh, 250 Newton in this case. And I always say each and every force must have an angle that is taken from that force to the horizontal, like 200 Newton. We have got the angle, which is of 45 degrees. In this case, uh, that is uh, from the horizontal to this point, which is 45 degrees. The same thing for the 250 Newton that we have this side. We need to have, we must have the angle or we must obtain the angle between that force and the horizontal line, which is this angle here. All right. So what would be this angle? As you can see, this angle here. Uh, that you are supposed to calculate and the angle that is on this point are the same since we just continue this line and this is a horizontal line. So these are vertically opposite angles, meaning to say this angle on this side is uh, 30 degrees. All right. So this is uh, what we are going to have in this case. So with this, uh, with this diagram that we are now having, like I said, this we are now considering out. We are no longer using this part. We are using this 250 Newton. All right. So the question is to have the resultant in this case from this diagram. We are asked to calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant. All right. So how are we going to calculate our resultant in this case? We know that we are going to find the horizontal components and also the vertical components. All right. So let's start with the horizontal components, which uses the cosine of theta so the horizontal components they work with the cosine of theta so that means our hc is going to be equal to uh 250 remember also that uh on the horizontal it's either we are going to the right or to the left so to the right that is the positive to the left that's a negative which is we are referring to the east and the uh, west in this case so if we check the first part here uh if we check that 25 Newton is on the right side. We are referring from this side. Is it on the right side or is it on the left side? So it's on the right side. So this is going to carry a cos, which is 25 cos the angle between the force to the horizontal. So that's 250 cos of uh, 30 degrees. All right. The same thing with 200 Newton, it's on the right side. So it's going to be a positive. So this is going to be positive 200 cosine of the angle between the force to the horizontal line, which is the angle of 45 degrees. So this is going to be cos uh, 45 degrees. All right, what about 300 Newton? 300 Newton, it's a straight vertical component. This can never be horizontal. So on, unless 
you use it as cos 90 if you apply the angle this will be at angle 90 but this is a vertical component all right then 150 again as you can see guys this is in in the west line it's a straight horizontal that we see but on the left side meaning to say this is going to carry a negative so this will be negative 150 all right so that is uh what you are going to have so meaning to say that's what we have remember this 250 is the one that we used on this part so we are no longer working with this side here meaning to say our horizontal component in this case is going to give us uh a we are going to obtain a positive that's 207,928 Newton in this case. And like I said, a positive means we are going to the, to the east. So meaning to say our direction in this case is to the east. All right. So that is it uh, for the horizontal components. We also need the vertical components in this case, which uses the sine of theta. Always remember vertical, that sign. And also remember that if you are working with the vertical, it's either you're going up you're going, or you're going down. So if we are going up, that's a positive, which is uh, to the north. And if you are going down, that is uh, a negative. In this case, if you are going down, this will be a negative, which is to the, to the south. So let us combine and see what you're going to have. So our vertical components, uh, let us check what we have. According to this horizontal line, we are checking what is on top or what is below. So 250 is above, which is a positive. So this is going to be positive 250. So we are going to have 250, the sine of theta, which is the angle between the force and the horizontal line of uh, 30 degrees. All right. We move on to 300. As you can see, 300, like I said before, this is in the north pole. It's uh, actually on the north. So this is a straight vertical. There's nothing that you're going to do. Just take it as it is. It's a positive 300. It's on top. All right. There is no way 150 can be a, a, a vertical. This is a straight horizontal, which lies in the west line. So this, we are not going to consider it as a vertical. All right, we move on. This 250 is the one that is on this side. So we, know, we don't consider this. So if we move on to 200, it's below the horizontal line. It's below. So that's a negative. So like I said, below this line, these values carry a negative. So that's negative 200, the sine of theta, which is the angle of uh, 45 degrees. So this is what you're going to have. So meaning to say our vertical component, in this case, if we combine uh, everything, this is going to give us uh, 283,579 uh, to three decimal places. All right, so this is... Uh, our force in newton in this case and like i said it's either we are going up or we are going down so if it is a positive it means we are going up which is a north so here we've got a positive value that means we are going up which means this is to the north all right so the direction here is to the north these directions they are very very important remember when you are to calculate the resultant or the angle that is uh, the, the direction for that, you need to consider the direction. Is it from the west? Is it from the south? So you've got the east and the north. So what you're going to do, you take these values to the, to the resultant. So we're going to have the diagram to represent our resultant in this case. So we are going to have our diagram uh, representing our resultant. So remember, this is our north, our south, our west and our east in this case. All right. So from our north pole that we are having, what we need is we are going to ask ourselves here, what are we having? The horizontal component here is going to the east. All right. So our horizontal component is going to the east. And if we check our vertical component is going to the north. So meaning to say we are going to have this in the first quadrant where Horizontal is going to the east, vertical to the east. Remember, we can only have a triangle like this, or we can have a triangle like this, or we can have a triangle like this, or we can have a triangle like this. So what you are simply asking ourselves is that, where do we have horizontal being positive, vertical being positive? This is in the 
in the first quadrant. So meaning to say we are going to consider the first quadrant in this case. All right, so in the first quadrant, what are we going to have? Our triangle, like I indicated before, our triangle is going to be given like this in the first quadrant. So this is what you're going to have uh, where this line here represents your resultant. So this line is for the resultant. So this is your horizontal component to the east, your vertical component to the north. All right, so forming a 90 degrees. All right, so that is uh, how your diagram is going to be. And uh, like I said, this is our resultant and the angle in between here, which represents the direction theta. This is where our theta, this is where our diagram plays a role on finding of theta. The direction is from the east, we are, we are from the east to the north, so which means we are considering east to the north in this case. All right, so how are we going to have this? Okay, let's just uh, have our values horizontal. That is a 207,928 uh, Newton. In this case, the vertical, that is a 283,579 Newton. All right, so to find the resultant, we are simply going to apply our Pythagoras theorem in this case. As we can see here, we have got a right-angled triangle that we are formulating. So our resultant is going to be equal to the square root of uh, the horizontal component squared plus the vertical component squared. So that means our resultant in this case is going to be the square root of uh, the horizontal component, which is uh, 207,928 squared plus the vertical component, which is uh, 283,579 squared. All right, so this is going to give us our resultant uh, in this case, we are going to obtain our resultant as uh, 351,641, which is uh, in Newton. In this case, we are taking the units that we are given before. So that is uh, our resultant. Then the direction according to our theta here, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So from the turn of theta, we are going to have opposite over adjacent, which is the vertical component over the horizontal component. So theta in this case is going to be equal to the arctan of the vertical component over the horizontal component in this case. All right, so that's our theta is going to be equivalent to arctan. We can substitute our vertical component, which is uh, 283,579 divided to the horizontal component, which is uh, 207, Comma nine two eight. All right. So this value we can have it from our calculator. Make sure that you use your calculator uh, properly in this case. All right. So let me just share the other part of screen so that we can see our calculator. So this is going to be. Make sure that your calculator here it's in degrees. There is a D here. Then we are going to have shift uh, turn in this case. That's two hundred and eighty three comma five seven nine. Uh, everything over uh, 207 comma 928 uh, like this. All right. So here we can close our bracket later on like this, which is going to be uh, 53.7500. So our theta, uh, sorry, our theta in this case is going to be 53.75 degrees. All right. So this now from our direction that I was considering about worried about uh, this diagram because of the direction to say our resultant is going to be taken from which point. So we are saying our resultant. Okay. Sorry. Resultant uh, force in this case, whatever that you have is going to be three. 151,641 Newton. Uh, all right, so this is uh, 641 Newton in this case. All right, and um, now let's consider our angle. We said we are moving from the east. This is the east line. It, the angle is between the east pole, this east pole and the north pole. So meaning you say we are from the east going to the, to the north. So this is from the east going to the to the north. The angle between is our theta here that we got of uh, 
comma seven five degrees. So this is how you're supposed to attempt uh, uh, this typical question. So be very careful on how you are given these questions and how are you supposed to answer uh, your questions from the diagram that you are given. Make sure that you adjust and understand the given information that you have. Calculate your horizontal components from there you can find the resultant. All right, so that was 11 marks for this. Then the other part of our question, that was 3.3. We were given to calculate the turning moment, which is the torque in this case, about the fulcrum in fig two below. All right, so this is the fig that you're given. We are asked to calculate the torque in this case. All right, how are we going to have our torque in this case? We know that uh, actually torque is equivalent to the force times the distance, which is the perpendicular distance taken uh, from the certain point of intersect, which is in this case, our force is uh, taken as uh, 10 kilonewton, but there is an angle that is affecting this force of 30 degrees. As we need to find the horizontal component, so this is supposed to be uh, FH for the horizontal, or let's just re, uh, write as FX for the horizontal component in this case. So what we need is to have FX, the distance, our radius or the distance, which is our perpendicular distance in this case is in meters. All right. So that is going to be give us the torque. Remember, torque is measured in Newton meters. That's why this is supposed to be converted to meters. All right. So our radius uh, is the distance from this point up to this point, which is uh, 100 millimeter, 100 centimeters to meters. You divide by 100, which is going to be one meter in this case. So this is actually equivalent to one meter. So that is, uh, remember, one meter is one meter. It's actually equivalent to one centimeter. All right. Then we have got our force. Uh, like I said, it's a horizontal component. So if we take this to the horizontal, there's an angle of uh, 30 degrees. So this is going to be uh, 10 kilonewton cosine of uh, 30 degrees in this case, of which kilonewton means to the exponent of three. So meaning to say our torque in this case is going to be our force. Uh, that is 10 times 10 to the exponent of three times the cosine of 30 degrees times the perpendicular distance in meters in this case, which is one. So this is going to give us our torque in this case. All right, so let's get back to our calculator again and see how we are going to have this. All right, so this time we need uh, 10 times 10 to the exponent of three, then multiplied to the cosine of 30 degrees. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees. So this is going to give us uh, 8,660. 8, so that's 8,600,254,254. So that's 8,660,254 in Newton meter in this case. So you can even write as kilonewton meter. All right, so take note uh, on your conversion of units. This is how you're supposed to have uh, calculated our talk in this case, which is, uh, uh, there was actually two marks for this. So you simply have to apply, use your calculator properly. That's how you can have our values. Okay, guys, that's it uh, from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.